we are now at worship. Did y'all hear what I said? Yeah. We are at worship for the whole going celebration. Did you hear what I said? Celebration yeah, yeah. of our dear sister Arletta Hampton. Now Arletta, she loved the Lord and she loved her church. And she would not want us here all cast down, all torn up, because she believed in a risen Savior who has provided a way for those that believe to join him in heaven. So she's not here. She's somewhere else. She's somewhere else, y'all. And we ought to be happy and celebrate and worship the great God that she served yeah. Who made a way for her. Yeah. So we're going to worship, worship. in spirit yeah. and in truth. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know we said, and y'all don't know how sad I am. I'm going to miss this woman. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm so happy yeah. that God made a way for her. Yeah. And there's no more pain, no <laughs> more sickness, yeah. no more crying, Come on now. and no more death. So we will worship in the order that is printed on our bulletins. We will begin with a selection. Sister Ford, are you here? Brother Robert? Yes, sir. Brother Robert Daltrey? who is the Minister of Music at Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church, our Letters Church, he will render a solo for us at this time. Thank you. 
After the scripture, if you will render a prayer for the for the family, Amen. All right, Amen. Amen. So we'll have a scripture, Reverend Brian Allen, who is not a blood son, but he's a son by God. Amen. Of Sister Arletta Hampton, he'll read a scripture for us, and then Reverend Hope will give us a prayer. All right. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Revelations chapter 21 reads as follows. And then I saw a new heaven yes, sir. and a new earth. Yes, sir. And the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And there was no longer any sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And my God, shall wipe away all your tears and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for all of the former things have passed away and he that sat upon the throne said and behold I will make all things anew to you may God have a blessing to the readers, hearers and doers of his word Amen, Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
going to go. Long live hope. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we come just saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, O oh God, for all of your many blessings. Thank you for how you watched over us yeah, yeah. all night long while we slumbered and slept. Right early this morning, you touched us with a divine finger of love. And you started us on another day's journey. Nothing good that we have done, and neither have we been so righteous. Well, well. But by you being a good God, you allowed our moments to roll on a few days longer. Now, oh Lord, we come this morning asking you to look on this family. Come on, sir, pray. Lord, we know we need you right now. They need yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Sister Hampton then went on home to a just God. Yes, sir. Father, we ask you to comfort this family. Put your arms around them. Let your grace abide around them. Yeah. Oh, Lord. oh, Lord. We know that death is coming, but we'll never get used to it. But we know we got a home Come on, sir. on the other side. Yeah. Going to a land of no more, yeah. no more suffering, no more heartaches, yeah. no more pain. No more death, but every day will be Sunday. Come on, sir. Sabbath will have no end. Ah, I want to be in that number when they call my name. Father God, we know Sister Hampton was a great warrior yeah, yeah. in the Lord, in the army of the Lord. No, she loved the Lord. She's all right. But where are you standing today? Yeah. If anybody here today don't know God, in the pardon of their sins, now is the time. Yes, sir. Ah, one day, one day, one day later on, after a while, after a while. Ah, I'm going home. Yeah. Want the Lord. Yeah. Well, well done. Oh. Thy good and faithful servant. Yeah. Remember the one the pastor that won't stand. Yeah. Say encouraging words to this family. Yeah. Let them down in the deep treasures of your wisdom, oh, yeah. knowledge, and understanding. Yeah. Then when it's all over, wanna go home. 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 See Jesus. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man that saved me. Yes, sir. Man that looked over my faults yeah. and seen my needs. Yeah. The man that loved me. Oh. Even when I didn't come up to oh. the standard. I'm thankful for him right now. Yes, sir. These blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
If she was ready, yeah. I'll tell you, she stayed ready. Yeah. She yeah. stayed yeah. fast and she always stayed dressed. Yeah. Yeah. You saw her, she had a beautiful hat on her every yeah. Sunday. Oh, yeah. And Lord knows yeah. I'm going to miss her. Because yeah. she always kept me dressed too. So I'm going to be right. upset because I ain't going to have them pretty hands to wear that. <laughs> but God is good. And I just come yeah. to let the family know that Cornerstone is hurting right now. Yes. Yeah. We loved her from the time that I was a little girl. My brother Hampton, Gregory, and Mike, and I was yeah. used to run around the church. Yeah. And Lord knows it's a sad occasion. But you know what? She's at peace now. We ain't got to worry about oh, yeah. her suffering Amen. no more. Yeah. I'm here. Y'all bear with me. I'm here to read the resolutions from our church. This one is from the Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church. January the 19th, 2021. The servant of God, well done, the glorious warfare, pace the battle fought that the race is won, and thou art crowned at last. Death has invaded the ranks of Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church and carried away our faithful mother, Sister Arletta Hampton. While attending Cornerstone, Mother has served as the missionary president, a trustee, a Sunday school superintendent, and let's not leave out vocation Bible school. All right. Mother, Ham Mother Hampton, as well as encourage our children department to participate in their activities and their program. Our hearts are saddened by the news that Mother Hampton has slipped away to join the host of those who have crossed the swelling ties and gone mm -hmm. to be with our Savior. Mother Hampton was a loving, kind, true Lord friend. She is resting safe in the arms of Jesus, and she is at, pla she is at a place where she does not have to worry no more. Amen. There is no more sickness, Amen. aches, and pains, trials, and tribulations. Amen. I have fought a good fight. Yes. I have finished my course. Yes. I have kept the faith. Mm -hmm. Henceforth, there is, a, there is laid up for me a up. crown of righteousness, yeah. Yeah. which the yeah. Lord yeah. the righteousness judge shall mm -hmm. give me at this day. And now to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearance. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Second Timothy 4, chapter 7, 8 verse. Respectfully submitted, Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend Chris Gay, Pastor, Sister Maxine Edwards, Church Clerk. All right. Amen. Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church, the resolution of respect for Mother Atlanta Hampton from the motherboard. No matter what your trials are or how big your mountain seems, the Lord is there to see you through. He goes through all extremes, so if your cross seems hard to bear and you know not what to do, the one who loves you most of all will be there to see you through. We, the motherboard, the member of Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church, want the family to know that our hearts are with you as you, as we gather to bid a Christian farewell <coughs> to Sister Arlena Hampton. We are proud to say that Arlena was a faithful and dedicated member of the Cornerstone Church for many years. Whereas Arlena Hampton was, was a God-fearing woman who loved the Lord, a very independent person, who always had to encourage words to, of advice to give, regardless of the situation. She will always find the good and encouraging other to do the same. Whereas not only is the is this a loss of a devoted mother, grandmother, an aunt, but also a confident, a confident counselor and the closest closest of friends, a person who was always available to share and encourage words and a demonstrating strong support for whatever our issue may have been. Whereas the passing of our beloved sister is the will of God, and there is there is a human tide that has been broken, which bleed the heart in, in ignoring pain. We are encouraged and consoled in the word of Jesus, who said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Whereas we know that there is a void in the life of, mother, of the motherboard, Sunday school department, morning announcement, coordinator, church trustee, ministry, where she was faithful. We teach and instruct everyone for the better of Christ. 
Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church motherboard. Now here yeah. come the one. The youth department. Because she loved her kids. Yeah. Yeah. May his peace be with you till we meet again. May his peace be with you till we meet again. Till we reach that destined shore where we says where we shed a tear no more. May he give you strength to endure till we meet again. Till we meet again. Yeah. We the youth department of Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church want the family to know that we share this great loss with you. We absolutely don't want to let her go, but we know that God needed her in heaven. We would miss Mother Hampton because we loved her so much. She was a big background supporter of the youth department. Whenever we went on trips and needed a chaperone or financial sponsor, we would always come, she would always come through for us. She always encouraged us to attend Sunday school, Wednesday night Bible study, and vocation Bible school. If you didn't know any better, you would think she was a, a school teacher. Mother Hampton was proud of us, and we were, we were and always would be proud of her. It is because of her that our youth choir was showcasing many times with the Central District Association, mm -hmm. where we, where she would always kindly volunteer the Cornerstone Voices of Praise to sing on the program. We are always glad to represent our church, and Mother Hampton is the best way that we could. Well, she always reminded us during the food fellowship, time to let the grown-ups grow through the line first. <laughs> we will continue to honor her wish, wishing our respect. We will always remember soft music giving the morning announcement and her delicious honey baked cake. Mm -hmm. You know she can make that cake, couldn't she? Mm -hmm. Therefore, be therefore be it resolved that we have submitted to Pastor Gay in remembrance of Mother Hampton to officially de declare the third Sunday of January of every year Mother Aletta Hamilton Day. Amen. So, Amen. To ensure we never forget her legacy and her dedication to our church. We invite and encourage the Hampton family to come worship with us on this Sunday if all is possible. We, we request a copy of this church resolution to be given to the family and other copy to be recorded in the church archive of Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church, Louisville, Kentucky. Humbly submitted on the 19th day of January in the year of 2021, order by the Officers and a member of Cornerstone Youth Department. Robert Daughtry, Mother Orlando Hampton, Honorary Youth Supervisor for Life. Mother Maxine Elwood, Church Clerk, and Reverend Chris Gay, Pastor from our Youth Department. Thank you. Amen. And I want to say if you send a poor, or you stop by, I call, I say a prayer for the family. Thank you, because right now, my heart is heavy, but that was my second mother. Because when my mother passed, she stepped up and became, well, she was always my mother, but she stepped up, and I really loved her. And it's just so hard to let her go home. But mm -hmm. I know now she's with my mom, and they up there shouting hallelujah, walking on Hamley Boulevard. All right, all right. All right. Amen. <laughs> members of the clergy, members of the family, members and friends. I bring you greetings from the Central District Baptist Association, which has been read many times in the church resolutions. And Sister Arletta Hampton was a vivid part along with the children. I could almost just say ditto. So this is our right. resolution for Sister Hampton. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me in green pastures. He restores my soul. For as in the providence of God, he has brought to a close the life of Sister Arletta Hampton, the Central District Baptist Association, Women's Missionary Ministry. We are expressing our sympathy to the family and friends in the transition of Sister Hampton. 
story is that Sister Hampton was a reverent woman who loved the Lord. She was a dedicated person. Amen. She had been with our ministry since the year 2010, mm -hmm. along with Sister Ollie would come with her also. Amen. Uh, she was always present at every occasion, at our board meetings and at our worship service. Although Sister Hampton told us that she did not like to talk in public, uh, she was our <laughs> announcement clerk. And she would do a wonderful job yeah. with that. And then also she was our enlistment committee chairperson. And she would call people and uh, remind them of when the worship services was going to be. And uh, we would just have a hallelujah time. All right. It says here, Father, Sister Hampton would gather the youth, as has just been said. She would gather the youth, and every February, we would have youth explosion. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And she would be uh, delighted to get those youth in there, get them singing, whatever they'd be doing. Mm -hmm. And we look forward uh, every time for that. And she was proud of the, the children and the ministry yes, that they was doing. Mm -hmm. Be it resolved that the name of Sister Arletta Hampton shall go down in our historical books as one of our most dedicated members. Mm -hmm. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and to the church cornerstone for their archives. To the family, we know that your loss is great and your sorrow is magnified. However, we want you to know that we do share in your sorrow and recognize that earth's loss is heaven's gain. Yeah. Humbly submitted on this 19th day of January 2021 from the board members of the Central District Baptist Association. Sister Sandra Brandon, Secretary, mm -hmm. Reverend Cleora Williams, President, and Dr. Reverend Corey Shul is our moderator. Thank you. Amen. 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 <coughs> Excuse me, I got one more to read that I missed. Sorry about that, I missed this one. That's all right. From Joshua Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church. All right. Redeem the lash, relieving the oppressed, building up the fellowship. Reverend D. L. Snodden, I might not be saying that right, right. but him, Pastor. January the nineteenth, twenty twenty one. To the family of uh, the family of Sister Arletta Hampton. Dear family, the Joshua Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church family, under the pastor pastoral leadership of Reverend David L. Snarden, mm -hmm. send heartfelt praise and condolence to the family of Sister Arletta Hampton. Here at Joshua Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church, we are a loving and caring people who would like to say to Sister Arletta Hampton, <coughs> and the entire family that our merciful God will help you through this difficult time and rest assured that those trusted and believed in Jesus Christ will see each other in another time, in yeah. a different place and a better tomorrow. Yeah. May you be comforted in knowing that we are always here for you and sharing in your sorrow. Our prayers are with you and may God strengthen you. Humbly submitted, Joshua Tabernacle, Missionary Baptist Church family, Reverend David L. Snarn, pastor. Amen. Amen. I have a resolution, church resolution of respect for Sister Arletta Hampton. This is from the I see Sink Baptist Church in Smith's Grove, Kentucky. No matter what your trials are or how big your mountain seems, the Lord is there to see you through. He'll go to all extremes. So if you cross, if your cross seems hard to bear and you know not what to do, the one who loves you most of all 
will be there to see you through. We are in place in this world for a limited time, and with the breath of the infant begins the race to the grave, a race everyone must run. Whereas you would like us to hear, in case there's a favor you would like us to do, we're here if you need us to help see you through. Humbly submitted on the 19th day of January 2021, the officers and members of the Icy Sink Baptist Church in Smith's Grove, Kentucky, Reverend Steve Branham, Pastor. Amen. 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 Now Sister Porter is here to worship with us with a selection. Good to see you, Montica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
marks from Brother Hovell. You ready, sir? Yeah. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I was thinking it was that Ovel, but it's this <laughs> Ovel. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, I'm going to say uh, all praises due to God. Yes, sir. Uh, sad day, but a great day. Come on, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. You know, we know where she's at. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some things can't be fully done in physical form. Come on. Right, so right. Got to go spiritual form. That's right, Doc. Continue on the journey. Mm -hmm. And she got her wings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's watching over all of us, and I think she's very happy oh, for the yes, outcome of the situation. All right, sir. And I just want to thank y'all for uh, showing up, and the family appreciate y'all uh, standing in. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say. All right, brother. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. That brother took care of Sister Arletta. Amen. Amen. Her time with me. God bless you, sir. Amen. Beverly Sarton. Did I say that right? <clears throat> Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Yeah, yeah. And Aletta was more than an aunt to me. She was really like my best friend. All right. So I found a poem that I wanted to read, and it's called In Loving Memory All of right. a Special Auntie. Mm. The day you left and gained your wings, my heart just broke in two. I wish you could have stayed with me, but heaven needed you. Mm -hmm. You left me with the memories, and I love you dearly still. No matter how much time goes by, you know I always will. Mm -hmm. You were a very special person with kindness in your heart and the love we had together grows stronger now that we are apart. I know I cannot bring you back, although I wish you every day, but a piece of me went with you the day you were All right, all right. Amen. 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 It always reflects greatly upon the dearly departed. The presence of various ministers of the church. Because of COVID, I'm sure that many of them would love to be here. Because you know, Sister Arletta, she has touched the lives of so many people. That's right. That's right. But unfortunately, because of COVID restrictions, mm -hmm. attendance is very restricted. But we do have two ministers of the gospel present. And they will come and give their remarks, words of comfort to the family. We have a Reverend Holt and we have a Reverend Allen. So Reverend Allen, would you come and give your words of comfort and then Reverend Holt. And then Reverend Allen is going to come and sing for us. To our officiate pastor, Pastor Kay, Pastor Holt. To all of you, my father's children, yeah. bring you greetings from the Guiding Star Missionary Baptist Church. And this is a tough one today for me. I know, sir. A tough one. It's almost like being at my own mother's service. If anyone knew her yeah. and knew me, then you knew just really how close we were. Mm -hmm. She, about 15 years ago, we met and uh, over at the Cornerstone Church. Yeah. Pastor Wade had retired and the pulpit was vacant. And I applied for the church and was there. She connected to me instantly. Well. And she took me under her wings and invited me into her home and fed me and looked out for me. I moved to 41st and Broadway, and I asked her one Sunday where she lived. She said, I live on 40th and Elliott. I said, that's right around the corner. She says, yes. And uh, many nights and days, I walked through the alley, and walked a block over, and walked over to the home. Come on, sir. Well, he was 
from working some working job somewhere. She took me in as her son, welcomed me into the home, let me lay on the porch sometimes. Then I thought so highly of her. I got married a few years ago. I wanted her to be at my wedding. She fussed and complained. I knew she was, that's why I didn't tell her about a week before. <laughs> I told her she was already printed on the program, you know, getting out of it. She treated me like a mother and a grandmother. I called her granny. And I'd always go by the house, oh well no, I'd go by the house sometimes almost every day. She'd be there and she always kept some bananas on that counter <laughs> and a piece of cake or pie in the, uh, the, the dessert dish. And I'd be always trying to get me a cake, slice of cake or pie, and he'd be hollering from upstairs, Mama, we'll get Brian all that cake. Oh, boy, shut up. <laughs> she said, you and old man, y'all gonna fight on that. <laughs> We're gonna miss her. She will be great. Great, great, yes. God needed a new, a new baker in Amen, heaven. Amen, sir. Amen. And he recruited her. She was sweet and kind to everyone. Amen. Everybody I ever took by that house that either sit in the car and waited for me to go in and come out or came in with me, they instantly fell in love with her. She loved everybody. And she would be sorely missed. But one thing I'm glad about is that I know where she is. Amen. Anytime sir. you know where someone is, even though it's a sad physical occasion, it's a rejoicing spiritual occasion. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to my seat. I'm gonna mind about a story. Father had three kids, and every day as he would leave to go to work, he would hug and kiss the kids and tell them he was going to work and be good, and I'll see you when I come in. Every day, Robert, when he would leave and come back in from work, one of the kids would always come and run and grab him and hug him. This particular day, my brothers and my sisters, when he came in from work, he said, I'm home. No children ran up to greet him. And so he went looking for him. He found one that had ripped and ran and played hard all day long and got tired and laid down and went to sleep <coughs> in the kitchen. He picked that child up, put it in his arms, carried it upstairs, put it in bed, tucked him in, kissed him on the forehead, and told him good night. He went and found the other child that had ripped and ran and played and got tired and fell asleep, laid down in the living room. Father picked up the child, put it in his arms, carried it upstairs, tucked it in the bed, kissed it on the forehead, and told him good night. He had one more he had to go and find. He found that child that had ripped and ran and played hard all day long and had gotten tired, laid down and went to sleep in the basement. Father picked it up, put it in his arms, carried it upstairs, tucked it in bed, kissed it on the forehead, and told him good night. My brothers and my sister, she made a journey the other day. She left home and she didn't make it back. She made it back home and then she went home. Yeah. And so her heavenly father, Found her in that garage. Yeah. Took her out of that car. Yeah. Carried upstairs. Come on. Put in the bed. <laughs> kissed on the forehead. All right. Told her good night. All right. Sleep on, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Amen. Just another day. Come on, Grandpa. Come on, Billy. That the Lord He has kept me. That's all I'm gonna do. Got a little bit for Sister Hampton. Amen. I'm gonna worship. Bringing you worship. Like that. Bring in union worship. <laughs> Greeting. Greeting. New Brighter Day Missionary Baptist oh, Church. Yeah. Where I am the uh, senior pastor. Uh, give an honor to the officiating pastor, Pastor Gay. God bless you, sir. Brother mm -hmm. Allen, the other ministers, and Reverend Higgins, Dr. Higgins, Amen. Amen. to this family. I know this family. I'm part of this family. Obel, yeah. and all of them, uh, we come up together. But you know, it's one thing about Sister Hampton. She was just real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. And my life has been enhanced. Just by knowing her, faithful woman, mm -hmm. work for the Lord, do anything for anybody. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do. We need to what? Be representatives of God. Yes. People talk a good religion. Come on, yeah. son. Mm -hmm. All right. James said, don't be 
just hearers. Right. Come on. But be doers. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And we talk yeah. that stuff, don't we? Yeah. God is ahead of my life. Oh, well. Until church is over. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. Then we're going on and doing something else. But I found out that you have to have a personal relationship yes, sir. with God. Come All on, right. son. And you you have to know him for yourself. Yeah, yeah. And I hear a lot of people say, I don't go to church because Christians don't live or don't do like they're supposed to be doing. Mm. You ain't neither. Come on, come on, man. <laughs> we all in the same boat. Oh, yeah. We all sinners saved by grace. Oh, yeah. and, and it's a choice. Sometimes I'm doing right. One writer said, when I desire to do good, what happens? Evil, evil is all <laughs> Come on, come on, come on sir. You know how sometimes you get up and you start a good day, want to do the right thing, mm -hmm. then you meet somebody, there it goes. <laughs> even me. I be in my car sometimes. Come on, come on, Pastor. And uh, you know how people undercut you, <laughs> run in front of you. And, Come on, Pastor. I don't be saying hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> what you saying, brother? Yeah, I'll be speaking Greek and Hebrew. <laughs> you do too, don't you? Yes, sir. But I just want to say, you know, we have to be real. Folks go to church every Sunday. Sit beside one another. Say you know a man and love a man you ain't never seen. Well, well. And hate your brother when you walk with David. The Bible say you're lying. Well. And the truth ain't in you. Come on, sir. Right. Being jealous of one another. It ain't, see, it ain't about us. Say it, son. It's about Jesus. Yeah. Both getting up, exploiting himself, and trying to be so big. It ain't about you. You got to be about Jesus. Yeah. I told my wife, I got to come. Mm hmm. Because Sister Hampton was a great woman. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And she deserved everything she get today. Everything that's been said is true. All right. Hmm? Yeah. I'm going to say this and I'm going to sit down. You know, one preacher said, you know, when you preach eulogies, eulogy is a Greek word uh, to represent, to speak well of. All right. He said, some people, uh, they live in the world and you lie on them. Mm. Come on, sir. And when they died, you got to lie for them. Well, mm. 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 but when you live a life that's for Christ, live right, right, yeah. right. it ain't hard to preach to you. Come on, sir. Because yeah. it's already been done. Come Yo, on, sir. Yeah. Pray yes, for the sir. family. Pray for the pastor. All Amen. right, all right. Amen. Reverend Jimmy Hampton from Tennessee is here. And he will come and give his remarks. Amen. Come on, Reverend. Come on, Reverend. Huh. Um, to my family. All right. All right. I know a lot of you guys, you don't know me. And it's been such a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm thankful for Fran for calling my brothers and letting me know. So on behalf of my brother, my brothers Wayne, Chris, and Charles from from Russellville, Kentucky. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Just say, guys, we love you. And may the Lord bless you. And may He keep you. And may His face shine upon you. Mm -hmm. And give you guys peace in the midst of your heart. And I'm very grateful to, to know Ann Arletta and to know you guys as my my cousins and relatives. All right. All right. All right, sir. Uh, All right. That our prayers are with you. And I know what it's like to lose <coughs> lose a mom, but it's nothing like that. Well, well. God has promised never to leave you alone. <coughs> We can use this time of Ain't Our Letters passing yeah. to draw you, to draw you, to draw us closer to her Lord. Yeah. Our That's Savior, it. Jesus That's Christ. it. All right, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.
Brother Jimmy, as soon as you took that mask off, I said, yep, he's a handful. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. Brother Allen, you're going to come and worship the Lord in song. If I can hear somebody <laughs> at the path alone, if I can cheer somebody with a word. can show somebody that's traveling wrong in my living shall not Till we meet. 
Pastor Holt said when somebody lives a real holy life like Sister Hampton it's easy to preach funeral well it's easier Okay. <laughs> it's easier. Yeah. And I'm going to do my best to do honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And my good friend, Sister Arletta yeah. Hampton. All right. All right. Pay attention, y'all. Because this is an important message. It's coming from the book of First Corinthians. All right. Mm -hmm. Chapter 11, verse number 1. First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse number 1. And I'm reading the New International Version. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Yes, all right. All right. It's a short verse, so I'm going to read it again so everybody gets it. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. All right. Now, some of y'all, some of the stuff that I'm going to say, some of you, it might be old news, but there's some folks here, Pastor, that don't go to church on a regular basis. All right, that's it. All right. And we have to use this opportunity to spread the gospel. That's it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So Paul the Apostle, he established the Christian church in the city of Corinth. Mm -hmm. And I want y'all to understand that the city of Corinth was an extremely immoral city. Yes, it was. Let me give you a little bit of history yeah. about Corinth. Yeah. Corinth was a port city. And when I say it's a port city, that means that there were plenty of sailors running around. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many of y'all have got any military experience, but when those sailors yeah. come to port after many months at sea, boy, those guys can party and raise hell yeah. with the best of them. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of nastiness and decadence going on. Corinth also was famous or infamous because they had the temple of Aphrodite mm -hmm. where they employed hundreds if not thousands of temple prostitutes. Mm -hmm. It just don't seem like those two words ought to go together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Temple prostitutes. Can you imagine going to church and that's how you worshiped? Going to church and consorting that's a nice word. Uh -huh. Consorting with a prostitute. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord. Corinth was a pagan idolatrous city yeah. that boasted anything that you might want or need. Mm -hmm. We got it at Corinth. So come on in. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Las Vegas ain't got nothing <laughs> on Corinth. No. Amen. All right. All right. But I say all this to help you understand the state of affairs in the Christian church of Corinth. Because the church existed in such an evil environment, the Christians there, they faced immense pressure from the trials and the temptations that the city of Corinth offered. Mm -hmm. And as a result of the pressure, the church had allowed some moral laxity to creep into the assembly. The Christian church, y'all, is supposed to be a beacon of great, a great beacon of light yeah. in an immoral world. Come on now. But the light of the Christian church of Corinth, it uh, didn't gleam as brightly as it ought to. No. As a matter of fact, the light was pretty dim at the moment. Mm -hmm. So Paul wrote a letter to urge them to do better. And thanks be to God, we have a copy of that letter. Yeah. That letter is what we have in the Bible as the book of 1 Corinthians. Come on now, come on now. 
Paul gave many great teachings in this letter, but I'm only going to focus on one very simple verse in that letter, the verse that I read. And this verse has got everything to do with the purpose why we are here today. Yeah. Paul says, follow my example as I follow the example of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. You see, Paul lived a strong, clean Christian life mm -hmm. as Jesus lived his. Yeah. Paul exemplified the values of Jesus Christ in his life. Don't y'all know that Jesus Christ is the standard by which all human beings are judged? Yeah. Amen. Jesus was righteousness walking in the flesh. All right. He always did what was right. Oh, yeah. Jesus loved everybody. It didn't matter if you were rich, poor, a criminal, a Roman oppressor, right. a tax collector, or a thief. Jesus loved everybody. Oh, yeah. right. Jesus cared for the poor. He would go out of his way. To make sure that the lives of those around him were better. Yeah, yeah. Jesus was a healer. He healed scores of people yes, of their no. physical, mental, and spiritual sicknesses. Mm -hmm. And then finally, mm -hmm. Jesus was an emancipator. Oh, yeah. yeah. An emancipator is someone who strives to set people free on, from man. slavery. Yeah. And Jesus set all of mankind. That means you and that means me and everybody that you know. Mm -hmm. He set us free from slavery to sin. Yeah. Uh -huh. He set us free from the oppressive bondage set upon us by the Satan. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a title, not a name. The Satan. Uh -huh. yeah. Some of y'all know him better as the devil. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But with his sacrificial death on the cross, Jesus paid the debt the sin debt for every man, woman, boy, or girl that had ever lived before, whoever's living today, yeah. and who will live tomorrow. He paid the debt for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the power of Jesus' blood. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. And based upon the example of Jesus Christ, that's how Paul lived his life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He urged the Corinthian Christians to live their own strong and clean Jesus-like lives. Mm -hmm. A Scottish professor, A.B. Davidson, once said to his students, an ordinary life well lived mm -hmm. is the greatest of all deeds. So I can hear a lot of you thinking, well, Pastor Gay, what has all this got to do with the funeral of Sister Arletta Hampton. Mm -hmm. Well, Hampton family, brothers and sisters, saints of God, I want y'all to listen to Arletta as she speaks. Listen to what she says. What she, said, Reverend. she says, follow my example All right. mm -hmm. as I Follow the example of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Did y'all hear what yeah. I said? Yeah. 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 Or let us say it. Follow my example as I follow the example of Jesus Christ. Because yeah. that's how our letter lived her life. Oh, yeah. Everybody in here ought to say amen. 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 She lived what that professor said, an ordinary life yeah. lived well. Or let her follow the example of Jesus Christ in her life. Amen. How many of y'all can say amen to that? Amen. 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 Our letter wasn't a famous athlete or celebrity, but she lived a good, godly life. Yeah. Yeah. Our letter wasn't the CEO of some Fortune 500 company, but she was a CEO in her family. Yeah. She was a wonderful mother to her family, yeah. a loving and devoted wife yeah. to her husband until death did them part. Yeah. Everyone in here, I'm sure, can remember our letter being there for you yeah. when you needed it, yeah. whether it was money yeah. or advice or love yeah. or oh, a yeah. piece of cake. Oh, yeah. 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 I know yeah. right. I know. Our letter wasn't just a mom to Ovel and Gregory and Michael. I know that's right. She was a mother even to people her own age. Yeah. 
Yeah. Before my mother passed away, I want y'all to know our letter would call and talk to my mother two, three times a week. Yeah. Checking on her, talking to her, encouraging her. Yeah. And I'll never, for, I'll never forget her for that. Yeah. Our musician. <laughs> Because she helped keep me straight. She helped keep me on track. And she would be there with me through thick and thin. And I'm going to miss Mother Hampton. Because she lived an ordinary life well. A life that followed Jesus Christ. Y'all get where I'm going with this. The written record shows that Arletta accepted Jesus Christ and was baptized at Icy Sink Baptist Church. The written record also documents that Arletta was a faithful member in good standing. You can be a member and not faithful. You can be a member and not in good standing. Amen. But Arletta was a faithful member in good standing at Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, this is the New International Version. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, yeah. you will be saved. Our letter demonstrated this belief with her ordinary life well lived that she followed Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I am certain that right now, mm -hmm. not tomorrow, but right now, yeah. she is walking on those streets of gold. Yeah. She's reunited with Ovel Sr. Yeah. and with her mother and her father yeah. and her sons Gregory and Michael yeah. that left this world too soon. All right now. She's in a place where the sun is always shining. Yeah. Yeah. There's no more sickness. Right. There's no more sadness. There's right. no more crying. And there is no more death. No. She's in a place where there is peace and joy yeah. and happiness. Come on up. She finally, finally got to see the face of the Lord yeah. that she faithfully followed in life. Uh, Rest in paradise, Sister Hampton. Yeah. Rest yeah. in peace. Yeah. But I'm not done yet. All right. All right. I ain't done yet. I told you that Sister Hampton's message was to you. Put your name right there. Mm -hmm. Sister Hampton's message to you was follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Uh -huh. Arletta lived her life to demonstrate to you all, to all of you, to her beloved family that the only way to go is to follow her like she followed Jesus Christ. That's the only way to go. Yeah. The Bible says in John chapter 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Our letter wants all of you to follow her to heaven. She wants all of you to be saved. That's why she lived a good life that she did. An ordinary life well lived. But you got to understand this. You can't follow her unless you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So saints, all of you, family, follow your mother. Follow your granny. Follow your friend. And accept Jesus Christ. And live together forever with our letter and Jesus in heaven. And when that day arrives, oh my Lord, when that wonderful day comes, that day when we all Get to heaven. Yeah, yeah. What a day, what a day. of rejoicing yeah. this will be. Come on now. Yeah. When we all, we all see Jesus, yeah. we will sing, sing. and we will shout yes. 
the victory. I don't know about you, but I want a victory. So I'm going to follow our let us lead. And I'm going to live an ordinary life, but live it well. And the only way you can do that is to follow Jesus Christ like our letter did. So that's what you got to do. She wants that for all of you to come with her to heaven. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing this will be. When we all see Jesus, what a day, what a day of rejoicing that will be.